and I've gone for a big 3-0 away win to Man United. Alright guys, so basically right, we're back with another video and today we've got the third episode of the Premier League predictions series. So, we have got one rule change that we're going to change for the rest of the series. Instead of getting minus two points for getting a wrong score, we're now going to get minus one. But the rule does not uh, affect last week's results. So, last week's results. I did okay. I got two exact results. So, I said City would win 3-0 against Burnley. And I said that Southampton would win 1-0 against, um, against West Brom. I also said that Chelsea would win, that Newcastle would win. Uh, but, I did, but I did not get any others right. Anyway, so that leaves me on minus 18 points as we got minus four for this week. It's not good enough, and we need to get we need to guess some better scores. Let's get on to this week's predictions. The first game of the week is probably the biggest game of the week. It's one of the biggest games of the season so far, in my opinion. It's United Spurs. It's a really big game for me because it kind of defines Spurs' this season. Um, I think it's very important for both teams because United need to get going after losing to Huddersfield. Uh, I've gone with a one all draw between Spurs and United. I think uh, going into the game, they're both even. Uh, well, obviously, they're both on the same point, uh, but they look even. They both look very good. United are only slipping up to Huddersfield last weekend, uh, but I think it'll be a one all draw. I think it'll be a tight game. And I expect uh, Harry Kane and Rashford to get on the score sheet there. Next, it is Arsenal versus Swansea. And I've gone for a 2-0 win to Arsenal at home to Swansea. Uh, I reckon it will be an easy win for Arsenal. I think, um, I think Sanchez and Lacazette will get on the score sheet. Next, it is Crystal Palace v West Ham. Two teams who are kind of struggling in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, Palace are at home, but I still don't think they're going to gain any more points. So I've gone for a, one, a narrow 1-0 win to West Ham. Uh, I think Chicharito Hernandez will score for West Ham in a narrow victory for them. The next game that I'm predicting is Liverpool versus Huddersfield. This is a very, very difficult game to predict, in my opinion, because uh, going into the game, both teams have had different results. Liverpool lost 4-1 to Spurs last weekend and and Huddersfield beat United but um, despite that you'd expect Liverpool to, Liverpool to win but I think it'll be a close game so I've gone with a uh, narrow 2-1 win to Liverpool but I think it'll be an interesting game that one so I'm, I'm, I may be wrong there. The next game is Watford v Stoke and despite losing 4-2 to Chelsea last weekend Watford look very, very good uh, this season. Uh, they look very good. Richarlison looks good. Decore looks good. And they have a very good team. Uh, so I'm going for a 2-0 win to Watford. And I expect them to continue their uh, good start to the season. The next game is a dead certain win, surely. Uh, it's West Brom v Man City. And I'm going for a 2-0 win to Man City away at West Brom. I mean, no one can stop City. Uh, they keep on winning. So They're scoring goals for fun. And you just can't bet against City. Next, it is Bournemouth versus Chelsea. And I've gone for a 3-1 away victory for Chelsea. Uh, I think Hazard, Morata and Batshuayi will get on the score sheet for Chelsea. Uh, and... And I expect them to win here. It should be a comfortable win for them. Next, it is Brighton versus Southampton. And uh, last week, I correctly guessed that Southampton would beat West Brom 1-0. And I'm going for the same scoreline. I'm saying Southampton will beat Brighton by one goal to nil. Uh, Bufal scored their goal last week. But I think Gabby Dean will score their goal this week. The next game, the difficult one to predict, it's Leicester versus Everton. Uh, going into the game, both teams have just sacked their managers. Uh, Shakespeare's been sacked by Leicester and Koeman has been sacked by Everton. So, uh, And both teams are struggling at the moment in the Premier League. Uh, it, I think it'll be a tight game. Both teams will be desperate for the points, but I think in the end it will be a one all draw between Leicester and Everton. Alright, so the last game of the weekend is... Burnley versus Newcastle and I've gone for a boring 0-0 draw between Burnley and Newcastle. I think both teams aren't doing that well in the league uh, there, but I think they're quite even so that's why I'm going for a 0-0 draw there. 
if that's the last game that we need to predict. Um, we're not doing well in terms of points. We've got minus 18 points so far, but hopefully we can bounce back after this week's predictions. Uh, we'll see you soon with a new episode. We will see you soon.